Hey you, come here. You interested in a bargain? You won't find these anywhere for 97 years! Hey you, stop right there! Those haven't been invented yet! Oh no, the time police! They're after me for selling future wares! Later, fellas! <laughs> Mordecai, we're free! We're on the lamb in the past! Disgusting. How do we rectify this intolerable situation? We have to go back. Back to... <sighs> go ahead. Say it. Back to the... Where we came from! <laughs> Pardon us. Well, this is nice. Hmm. Wait. This is becoming tedious. Surely there's a path to the future that doesn't entail running mindlessly through every frame of public domain footage from the past century. <gasps> Worry not, my anachronic companion. We don't need to go all the way back. We just need to get to the moon. Why? That's not the where we came from. <laughs> Speak for yourself. Anyway, the time police will never catch us there. Pigs can't fly. <laughs> Why do social commentary? I fail to see how this is useful to our endeavor. Well, as Harry Einstein posits, the influence of a strong gravitational field would, akin to a sinkhole or a tar pit, drag not just the flow of space, but also of time. Therefore, the inverse must also be true, wherein we should make our way to our lovely luminous lunar orbit. We'll find ourselves making great time in time. First, it's Herr Einstein. Second, the general relativity is something like Jupiter and the amount of time it actually be saving is in a 58.7 microseconds per second, a truly abysmal application of chronic efficiency. And aside, how do you propose we prepare ourselves to settle cloud? Unless all of that nonsensical bluster escaping your mouth is composed of ammonium perchlorate, I very much doubt we'll... We're here! <sighs> now what? We'll just hitch a ride with the next passerby. <laughs> Shouldn't be too long. Yes, indeed. They've got the flag up now, and you can see the stars and stripes on the lunar surface. What I tell ya! And now, finally, thanks to NASA and Glitch's final, final project, Rocky and Mordecai are back to the where they came from! Blackadaisy Shop! That's right, we've partnered with the amazing folks at Glitch to bring you all kinds of boozy cat merch from the future past. Get them while you can before they become entangled in an interminable nightmare time loop. For a night on the town, festoon your celestial body in this jazzy new Lacka Trio t-shirt. Then swank it up with this lushly designed zip front Mordecai jacket. Hmm. It's... acceptable. Throw your own little prohibition party with a host of collectible character standees! Then gussy up your mug with these stickers and enamel character pins! Why not? You're in this deep already! Ah! Grab some of this other malarkey too! And of course, don't miss these huggable, mashable, plush Tatoes in Mordecai and Rocky flavor. Whoa! Take a gander at these babies! Why, I could get rich selling these to Rubes back in 1927! Time is my marketplace! <laughs> uh, anyway, if you'd like to see more lackadaisy animation in this, the stupidest timeline, know that production is funded by viewers like you. You can directly support the making of episodes and the paying of artists, all while getting some boozy time traveling moon trash at lackadaisyshop.com. Nessa disavows any affiliation with time traveling crime cats from the moon. I hate time travel episodes.